Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make Dora, or my version of Dora, and her little backpack. Now, um, first of all, I apologise. I'm uh, riddled with a head cold, so I apologise in advance for how I sound. It's, um, it's not the best, but we will struggle through. Um, I'll bear with it if you bear with it. So what I thought we'd do first is make backpack. And uh, this is a detachable little backpack like that and you're going to need purple bands and some red bands and I'm using the white pony beads they're the mini pony beads and then I've just used a black marker to do the eyeballs on him so let's get started we're going to use our purple bands first with our single loom in the offset configuration so column one and three are lower than column two the arrow is pointing towards us or if you don't have an arrow the open part of the peg and we're going to be coming down one, two, three, four, and five. So the first, we're doing double bands, I should mention. So two bands placed together on the pegs like that. Okay, so this is our, that's our first one. So then we're going to do two, three, and four. And then five will come in here, but I want to do this middle one before I do that. So two, three, and four. And we'll lay the purple bands down this middle column. And then we'll do the side ones. We're going to do two from the centre to the right, and two from the centre to the left. We're going to put crossover bands, single, which is stretched across in the shape of a triangle, like that, and one above. And then across the centre here, we're going to do eyes as if we were doing a face on our character. So you take a single and you're going to twist it once, twice, and three times, and place that here. Actually, I'm telling you fibs, we're doing it one above. It goes, the eyes go at the top, so let's swap those. That one's going to go across, and we'll go twist it once, twice, and three times so we'll put that there because the mouth is going to go here then we're going to use um, a single purple and I'm going to thread my white mini pony beads seven millimeter by four millimeter onto a single band now if you don't have beads you can use white bands when you take a single band and wrap it around your hook four times that's the equate that's the same as it equates to one bead Okay, so uh, you would do two of them. You'd wrap a band four times around your hook and then you'd do another single band four times around your hook and you would slide them on just like I've done here. And we'll stretch them across these two pegs like so. And you're going to split it. And now you might need a metal threader. I have a tutorial on how you can make one um, from a twisty tie. Or you might need... Um, some floss, dental floss works quite nicely as well or you, if you have a needle threader that works well as well split your band in half like that and take the top part of the band up and over this peg and then this acts as a crossover band All right. the next thing we're going to do is, is the mouth but we're going to do that after Okay. so I know it looks a bit odd but we, we will put the mouth on after I just wanted to make sure you knew that we weren't going to forget about that. Take a single purple band and you're going to wrap it around your hook once and twice and we're going to pop it on the end here as an end cap. Okay. Now we're going to start by doing our looping up. Dig down past that end cap and you're grabbing the first two purple bands. Hold on to your end cap and loop up to the, sp to the side at the diagonal and do the other side as well. Okay. Now what I've done here, I've gone through this one spot here and we've got the first pair, two, three, four and five. All right, so I have five pair in a single chain making up this. So how I've done that, I loop up the sides all the way to the top here, but I don't loop these ones. All right, so we'll loop these all up. And you can loop the middle 
the middle column. So there's one, two, three. And now what we're going to do is take two bands and push your hook. It's going to go here next to these, okay? So you're going to, and I'm sorry, we're doing single, single band and slide it here. The reason I've done a single band instead of a double band is the double band makes its it these straps so thick that her arms look very distorted when they're put through. So I've, I've just used single bands there. So slide your first one through here. Let me do that again to show you. Put your hook through here, okay, through all of those bands and just pull it back through and have both ends on your hook. That's our first one. We're going to do five. Here's number two. You're just doing a chain. Put the next one on. Number three, number four, you're not attaching it to anything, you're just doing a chain, and number five, okay, so that's five right here. Now this, pinch this, you're going to take your hook out, you're going to lift these two bands up and put these two loops on here. And then you're going to put those two loops back on like that. And then you can loop this side in and that's attach that to there. Let's do the other side. So I'm turning my loom around. I'm going to grab one band and pull it through on there. And then we're going to do four more. So there's two. Three. and here's number five and like I said we're going to lift these two that we've just looped up up place these on it's always a bit odd when you're sort of working back to front and then place those two back on top the reason I place those back on top is so that it's sandwiched between and it doesn't look so odd when you look at it here you still have the shape of the backpack instead of having these coming out. So then we'll loop this one in and then we'll loop this middle one up to the centre again so it still has that continuity. You're going to have two purple bands, poke them through, pull them back and up to the back side of this peg, take the two closest to you up, over and off and pull tight into a slip knot. We'll take this off our loom. I use the back of a metal hook to help me, one without the cushioning on it. Take this off. And stretch him into shape a little bit. There's the straps here, either side. That's the little face. We're going to hide these tie-off bands. I'm just going to poke my hook through and draw them down to the back because we might actually use these to help us with our mouth. So pull those to the back so that they're not in the way of the, of the front of his face. Now, we have two red bands. You're going to pick one side here Let's get rid of the cat hair. One side here, one side here, and then the center, okay, to do the, the smile. So push your hook through, grab one side of the band, and so you've got it either side like this, okay? And then you're going to poke your hook through the center here and drag the other side back like that. So you have both of these loops coming through like this. All right, you're going to do the same on the other side. Go through, and you want to mirror image it on the other side. And then back through that same hole, and pull the other one through, like that. Now, one of these should go through the other. You want to make sure that you have both those loops on, put one through the other, and then grab this, this loop up here. And again, put one through the other, and then we're going through this loop over here and we'll put 
one through the other so they're all looped in it doesn't really matter how tight it is because you can still pull it forward like that and then what we'll do using these tie off bands that we have we'll pull these through like that and then we're going to take just another single purple band we'll have these two loops and we'll find a little spot somewhere here one of these back bands here and take that single band that we've just taken and tie a little slip knot with it like that and we'll hide that under these bands that we have left at the back here and I try and make it so that it covers some of the red but it, I mean it really doesn't matter you're not going to see it it's on her back sort of like that okay and then this is the front side of backpack and all you're going to do for the front is take a black sharpie felt it pen permanent marker whatever you call it I had no idea what a sharpie was when I came to this country and you're going to draw eyeballs just like that okay so that's how we did and then when you place it when you've made your doll which we'll do next you place backpack on her just by threading her arms through like that and there you have your little backpack for Dora all right so that's how we do backpack now we're going to make Dora the actual doll and I'll do that in a separate video so that uh, it's uh, not too time-consuming 